Hi there, my name is Amir Ishaq and I'd like to welcome you back to this WebRTC Let Us Learn Together video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how I have implemented the concept of So let's go ahead and clone the project from video part number five and make the changes that are necessary to enable um, rooms. Okay, so let's head over to part five repo on GitHub and clone the project. npm install to install node modules npm run build to build our application let's start our server and test the application as is Let's grab our ngrock generated URL. And update our service IP. Um, let's quickly test the application, make sure that it's working properly. Okay, good. The application seems to work as original. Okay, so let's now start making changes to the code. Scroll down to io.connect and add a property called room in the query object. Path name will resolve to anything you add after the host name. Let's display the room name after the peer connects. In part five, we had missed to include uh, an event that updates the number of peers connected. So let's just go ahead and edit now. Let's also update the count when a peer disconnects. That's all for the client. NPM run build to build our application. Okay, so let's now move to our server side code and uh, make some changes there too. Let's start by creating our rooms object. Let's add 
a route to capture our explicitly defined room. This will be the default room if room is not specified. Connected PS is no longer needed. Soon after connection, let's get our room from the query object. We can now add the room to the rooms object. This code basically checks if the room already exists in the rooms object. If not, then a new collection is added. We will be removing all occurrences of connected peers because we don't need that anymore. We need to let everyone in the room know the number of uh, connected peers. So let's modify the broadcast method. We first get the connected peers. And then for each peer, we send the total number of connected peers in that room. We need to do the same for when a peer disconnects. We need to let all the other peers that the count has gone down and which peer actually connect disconnected. Remove the peer from the room. npm run build to build our application. We need to change this. It's not connected peers. It's supposed to be rooms size.
We also made a mistake here. It's not joint peers. It should be peer disconnected. Let's restart our server again. Seems like something is wrong. Number of peers are still not uh, correct. So let's uh, try to fix that. Remove the extra E. That's it. We are actually done with the code. Let's just do some tests with different rooms on different uh, multiple browsers. Notice when I change in one of the browsers from room 1 to room 2, the total number of connected peers in room 1 goes down to 2. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that this was beneficial.